Jackie Robinson Day. So the Mets, as well as every Major League team, will celebrate the life and legacy of Jackie Robinson. Jackie's widow, Rachel Robinson, is in the ballpark. She got to go in the clubhouse before the game, and Pete Alonso delivering her some flowers and Mookie Wilson alongside Butch Husky who was wearing 42 for the Mets the night that Jackie's number was retired in perpetuity back in 1997. Hauser when he's effective he'll get a lot of ground balls he hasn't allowed a home run yet too he's only pitched 10 innings allowing 11 hits and six runs but Adrian Hauser generally does allow his infielders to get a lot of work last time out was a week ago tomorrow night that was in Atlanta where he lost six to five to the Braves who jumped out to a six to nothing lead in that game. Here's the 0-2. And Cruz takes a fastball in there. Strike three call. Cruz does that a ton. 27th time he's punched out already. That's third most in the league. So one out for Brian Reynolds. Breaking ball chopped slowly up the first baseline. Hugs the grass. Stays fair. Alonzo up with it. Touches the bag. And there are two men away. 2-2 coming to Hayes. And the breaking ball hit on the ground right at Lindor. Takes his time. Throws him outside. Retire. Adrian Hauser sits down the Pirates. 1-2-3. Middle of the first. It's Pittsburgh. Nothing. And the Mets come. Coming up, Martin Perez, the left-hander, will get the start for the Bucks tonight. He's been off to a very good start as a Pirate. Brandon Nimmo, lefty batter, hitting at 236. Loops one in the air, left side. Not a lot of foul ground here. Hayes has room, and he'll make the catch. And Hayes navigates the foul territory that is here to get the first out. O'Neill Cruz has it with plenty of time and gets a strike on the first for the second out. Francisco batting just a buck 29 with a homer and two RBIs and the fans being very very positive swinging a liner down the left field line that's a base hit it's headed towards the corner Reynolds is after it on his way to second Lindor Reynolds just picks it up now Lindor a bad turn around second but he'll hold on there as the relay throw from Reynolds comes in to Cruz in short left field and it's a two out double for Francisco Lindor truly little by little the hits are coming that's now seven hits in his last nine games so he's coming out of it and certainly the crowd is helping him through it high in the air to left but not nearly deep enough Reynolds comes way in on it to make the catch and one pitch later Perez is out of the first we'll go to the second inning from New York second inning no score Adrian Hauser retired the side in order in the first faces Rowdy Tellez and Hauser strikes him out got him with a changeup second strikeout for Adrian one man out Andrew McCutcheon coming up and Andrew McCutcheon yesterday hit the 300th home run of his major league career Career in Philadelphia. And that's outside ball four. So McCutcheon has drawn a one out walk, and it'll bring up Jack Sawinski. Cutch runs. The pitch is down low, ball four. Back to back walks for Hauser. Bucks on the pond for Connor Joe coming up. On the outside corner, he got him looking. So Connor Joe is a strikeout victim. And Adrian Hauser has his third strikeout. So two men away. The ball has not been in play here in this top of the second. Couple of strikeouts, couple of walks. And now Jared Triolo, right hand hitting second baseman, will be the batter. No score, runners first and second, two out here in the second inning. Now Hauser delivers, and a bouncing ball to short, and a couple of steps, Lindor, he's got it, underhands to second for the force play that retires the side. Francisco Lindor wearing the Jackie Robinson themed socks and shoes. Both starters kind of ho hum through the first four. We're scoreless. Triolo with two men aboard in the second inning. Bounced into a fielder's choice, which got Hauser out of mild trouble. Another 3 2 from Hauser, and he lost him. Ball four. That first runner on. Henry Davis is coming up. He bounced out the third, his only time. Here's Davis. First pitch hit hard to the shortstop hole. Backhanded by Lindor. Fires on one hop to second. They get the force play. No return throw to first by McNeil, but a gorgeous play by Francisco Lindor, who had the range to his right into the hole. And then he did a semi jump throw. He just got a little bit off the ground. Got enough on that throw, a one hopper that McNeil was able to corral for the first out. So runner at first, one out, and back to the top of the order in O'Neill Cruz. No score here. Pirates batting, one out, top five. Davis at first. And Cruz strikes out on a high changeup. And Hauser has his fifth strikeout. So four walks, but five strikeouts for Hauser. So two out, Davis at first. And now Brian Reynolds, who has the only hit for the Pirates, an opposite field single in the third. Pitch to Reynolds. Bouncing ball slowly hit to the right of the mound. Hauser has got it. Underhands to first in time. Side retired. No runs, no hits. A walk, one left, and at the end of five. It's the Pirates nothing, the Mets nothing. Oh, a good start to the sixth for the Pirates. Hayes down two strikes, draws a walk. Rounded, and there is Alonzo. Gets one, and the ball in the dirt, and Lindor can't come up with it, so Hayes reaches second base. 
And Pete's off the line. Oh, that ball nicely. DC had his glove down and prepared to field the ball. If he had had his glove up a little bit, that ball might have got by him. Look at it. He's ready to field. Nicely done, Pete. It was just a little bit low, and Lindor could not pick it. So a runner in scoring position for the Pirates, and Andrew McCutcheon at the plate. Ground ball right side and McCutcheon singles home the first run of the game through the right side Andrew McCutcheon brings home Hayes one nothing very nice Andrew McCutcheon drives in the first run of the game and the Pirates lead one nothing in the sixth uh, the second baseman McNeil was playing him up the middle took advantage of that hole and the Pirates have the lead that will be it for Hauser. Well, Drew Smith comes on to pitch for the Mets with one out on the top of the sixth. The Pirates have taken a one to nothing lead. He'll come on with Andrew McCutcheon, the runner at first, and one man out. But those walks that Adrian Hauser allowed finally came back, at least in this one instance, to bite him. Still three and two. There goes Kutch and ball four. Down and in with a changeup. Mets pitchers have walked six now. First and second with one out, and Connor Joe was struck out looking and swinging tonight is coming up. Swing and a line drive base hit for Connor Joe. Hit out to center. McCutcheon tags third. He's on his way home. Sawinski scampers to third. Connor Joe comes through, and he has an RBI knock. The Pirates are up 2-0 in the sixth. And that's a great job by Sawinski to get to third with one out. A deep enough fly ball could add another run. Jared Triolo walked his last time in a nine-pitch at bat. Well, he does go the other way, and this will score another run. Okay. Sacrifice fly for Triolo on a one-two pitch. Sacrifice fly for Jared Triolo, and the Pirates have a three-to-nothing lead. The Pirates send seven men to the plate. They scored three runs on two hits. Mets looking for a response in the bottom of the sixth after the Pirates broke the ice with three in the top of the inning. So now Beatty, who's been hit by a pitch and hit a comebacker. 1-0 the count. He's batting 3-0-9. Runners lead second and first. And he cracks that one to right field, and that's a base hit. And that will load up the bases. Marte had to hold up to make sure Joe wouldn't catch it. So some hard hit balls against Martin Perez here in the sixth. Three singles to load the bases with one out. Here is Alvarez, power hitting right hand batter, facing uh, seemingly close to being out of gas. Left hander here. The 3 1 pitch. High ball four, it forces in a run. Marte scores from third, Lindor goes to third, Beatty to second, RBI for Francisco Alvarez, his seventh on the bases loaded walk, and the Pirates lead is cut to three to one. Neal is flied out to right and popped to short 0 for two. Lindor at third, Beatty the tying run at second, Alvarez at first with one out. Small crowd really coming alive. And McNeil flies one out to right, Joe coming on, and he makes the catch, no tag. Oh! Joe Jeez. lost it, and the Mets get a gift run. Oh, my God. What happened to Connor Joe? He, he spiked it. He went to just, he was in between throwing it hard to home or throwing it easy to the second baseman, Triolo, and he just spiked it. So that's an E9 Nine. enabling Lindor to score. And here comes Derek Shelton to take his lefty out of the game. Pirates three, Mets two, with two out on the bottom of the sixth. Hunter Stratton, a right-hander, comes out of the bullpen to relieve starter Martin Perez. And Taylor was due up. D.J. Stewart will bat for him with the tying run at second. And Stewart cracks one in the right field, moving over his Joe. He can't get it. It's up against the wall. In the score is Beatty. Alvarez will be held at third. It's a pinch hit RBI double for D.J. Stewart to tie the game. The Mets three, the Pirates three, a pinch hit double for D.J. Stewart. 3-3 three, three going to the bottom of the eighth, and Araldis Chapman is on to pitch for the Pirates. Neal at third, Stewart at second. The outfield, round towards right against the right-hand hitting Bader. And he lines one down the left field line, base hit, and that'll bring in two. McNeil and Stewart both come in to score. Bader at second with a two-run double, and the Mets for a second straight day take the lead in the bottom on a big hit from Harrison Bader. And Chapman going after the home plate umpire Edwin Moscoso, who has thrown him out of the game for arguing balls and strikes. Chapman lost it, and then Bader responds for the second straight day with the go-ahead hit in the bottom of the eighth, and the Mets go in front five to three. Well, the Mets who were down three nothing go into the bottom of the sixth, score three in the sixth, and now take the lead against Chapman, who has been ejected from the game, and the Pirates allowed to bring in a pitcher. Nimmo will try and add to it. Bader takes off for third, and he steals without a throw. 
The third stolen base of the inning for New York. Nimmo's gone 0 for 4 tonight. Grounder to second. Triolo coming home and he's safe. Oh, Painter beat the tag by Davis. And it's 6 to 3 New York. Infield in. Ball hit right at Triolo. Not a bad throw. But Davis unable to get the tag down in time. The Mets score three runs on one hit. There were three stolen bases in the inning. No errors. One man left at the end of eight. Cue the trumpets. Here comes Diaz. Met six, Pirates three. Two out. Triolo at second. We're in the ninth. Two two pitch. Swinging a high fly ball, right center. Pretty deep but playable. Marte in the gap, makes the catch, put it in the box. The New York Mets have got to the 500 mark for the first time this year. Edwin Diaz with his fourth save, working back-to-back -back games. As the Mets come back from trailing by three, they win by three. The final score, the New York Mets six, the Pittsburgh Pirates three.